Ladies and gentlemen, our refining industry is restructuring. Faced with economic pressures from new Asian mega refineries. I'd just like to say thank you. Martin Ferguson, the Energy and Resources Minister, launching the government's energy white paper. And uh, it looks like he's just been interrupted by hecklers and protesters there on the stage. Uh, something that uh, Tony Abbott uh, experienced just uh, last week. We might just see if we can listen in. to have you representing us and our interests. I'd like to say thank you for helping our thank you, Mr. regional Ferguson. communities drink water and coal from the same tap. It's, uh, it's a marvellous outcome for all our regional communities in this situation, uh, that they can now drink uh, gas from the taps as well. <coughs> so, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Ferguson. Thank you, Mr. Ferguson. No, uh, fools of ourselves. We're, we're full supporters of Mr. Ferguson, Ferguson in this situation. Yeah, I, I think you misunderstand. I just want to sing a quick song. That, uh, this is an important Thank opportunity you, for the coal industry Thank to you, Fergo, really. Fergo. Don't worry Thank about Michael, that global song. warming. That's lovely. It's just Thank those hippies moaning. That's why I said, don't worry about that global warming. Greg Emerson. He, he, he's also a great explainer. All that coal hole. Yeah, we'll make a great big hole. Thank you, Fergo, Fergo. Thanks, Thank for you, Fergo. Thanks. Thanks for don't coming. worry about that climate change. You're good. You're good. You're Even if it's not. been just big rain. Yeah, no more coal winds. No more Arctic sea eyes. That's why I say thank you, Virgo. Thank you, Virgo, Virgo. Thank you, Virgo. You're a great job. Thank you so much for your unwavering support of the fossil fuel industry. Come on, boy. Thank you, and we'll thank you forever. Thank you, Mr. Ferguson. Thank you, Mr. Ferguson. The Resources and Energy Minister Martin Ferguson being interrupted by protesters there as he's trying to hand down the government's energy white paper, one of the pitfalls of political life. We saw 